Hello and welcome back to Mount Edgecombe Hospice in St Austell. This week, as part of National Hospice Care Week, we've been talking about what it takes to run our charity and we've given you a glimpse into every corner and I've decided that it'd be nice to end the week with the very person we started the week with, Gina. Welcome again. Morning. Gina, how important is it now, looking back at all the different facets we've looked at, from the importance of our shops to fundraising to our lottery, that we all understand that it takes many pieces to build a jigsaw? It does. It really does take everybody within the hospice to um, support each other to ensure that we can give the best care for patients. And also, we can't do that without our community as well. So for me, it's really important that actually our community support us as, as well as our, our staff within the organisation. And what uh, struck me last night, we were live at the fire walk in St Austell and it was dark and there were all these people having a whale of a time. It emphasised that whole message about the fact we are here 24-7 and it's not just the care that goes on in that period. There's all these other things happening. I'm amazed sometimes at what people will do for us, whether it is the firework, so literally walking on the hot coals, or whether they're cycling miles and putting themselves through real feats of endurance. But actually, that supports us. Um, you know, we are here, as you say, 24-7, 365 days a year. People are giving up their... Um, Christmases or time with family to volunteer with us or to care on the wards or to um, do Christmas in the kitchen for example so it, it is a real team effort. Now very excitingly uh, about a month ago we were able to announce that we had opened nine beds now at each unit that's 18 intensive care beds for Cornwall and uh, uh, even more exciting is I think you can tell us there's going to be more. Yeah, we're, we're looking actually, we've, we've had some really good recruitment here at the hospice and we've got some fantastic um, new staff to work with our existing um, staff on the, on the clinical area. So we want to increase beds in a, in a safe way um, and we're looking to kind of do that kind of into the new year. Um, so hopefully we'll have some, you know, more beds here at, um, at St Austell, but also we're looking at how we can use our outpatient spaces and work more with our community colleagues to, to properly partnership work. So how important then is collaboration? We've seen collaboration actually in other parts of the charity, but how important is it uh, with, when it comes to care and what we do on our front line? Um, it, it's hugely important for us as an organisation. Looking forward strategically, it's, it's the way we have to work. It's about working together across Cornwall to make it happen. So really good example for us is we um, put a bid in to the um, Masons from Hospice UK um, for some money to support a joint initiative working with Crews Bereavement Service um, because actually we were very aware that our families that leave us here if somebody has died need that support and that's there's, there's not always a lot of that easily to find in, in Cornwall. So we're looking at actually how we can support together with um, friendship groups for those that are bereaved across Cornwall. And, and for me, that's a, a really good example of how we can do things together. And collaboration within as well, because we've talked about the increase in beds, both here and at St Julia's Hospice, but our community services uh, appear to be expanding too, but they must be to underpin what we do here in the buildings? Uh, absolutely, it's um, it's about our outreach into the community. So we're looking at um, community centres where people are gathering, so working kind of with Age UK sometimes or with actually community groups that are up and running. And we're offering particularly support and signposting or, you know, kind of walking and talking um, because actually some people who are isolated or unsure, they just need a little bit of help to kind of find the way for that support that they need. And will that evolve, do you think? Is there going to be more change um, in how care is given at this, this end stage of life? I think people want care to be easy to find and they want it in their local area. So it's about people not having to travel and, and to wait a long time for appointments. Actually, it's really important for our patients that actually they have that care and that support and that equipment sometimes in a timely manner. So we're looking at how we support that. And for example, in our therapist team, we've developed the road of therapy assistance so actually they can go out really quickly to people's homes and, and take the kit that they need that actually can really make a difference to people. 
well it's I want to say exciting times for the charity which maybe that doesn't feel like the right word but it is a developing time isn't it and I think Cornwall Hospice Care continues to play a really important role supporting not just people who have a terminal illness but all those families and importantly carers too. It, it's really important and I think you know um, it, it's a really tough time if you're caring for somebody who's um, you know going through a difficult time and I think if we can offer that support and make um, times a little bit easier for them then that gives them a little bit resilient uh, resilience and somewhere where they know they can turn to get an answer for their questions. Well, Gina, thank you. That's a Pleasure. real insight and it's a, a lovely way to end our week, just glimpsing at what the future might look like. One thing we do know is that in 2020, we'll celebrate our 40th anniversary, 40 years of providing this very specialist care to the people of Cornwall. And we really want you to be a part of it. I mean, you may have memories over those years that you'd like to share, but also there'll be lots of events going on, lots of activities that we'd like you to get involved with. So keep watching our social media channels and our website for more information as we get closer to 2020. And that website address for you, www.cornwallhospicecare.co.uk.